Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English Fluency Podcast. I'm Olivia, and I'm here with Bilal, ready to dive into another great topic for improving your everyday English. Today, we're going to talk about daily routines. That's right, Olivia. Talking about your daily routine is one of the most common conversation topics, whether you're chatting with friends, meeting new people, or even in a job interview. Knowing how to describe your daily routine clearly and naturally is a big step toward fluency. Absolutely. It's not just about listing what you do, but learning how to talk about it in a way that sounds smooth and engaging. Today, we'll cover how to describe your day from morning to night, and we'll share useful phrases and vocabulary along the way. Let's get started. Whether you're a morning person or a night owl, everyone has a daily routine, and this episode will help you talk about yours in English. So, let's begin with the morning. How do you start your day, Bilal? Well, I usually start my day pretty early. I wake up around 6.30 a.m., and the first thing I do is make a cup of coffee. I like to sit quietly for a few minutes before I begin my morning routine. After that, I usually take a shower and get ready for the day. I like to keep my mornings relaxed but productive. That's right, Olivia. Talking about your daily routine is one of the most common conversation topics, whether you're chatting with friends, meeting new people, or even in a job interview. Knowing how to describe your daily routine clearly and naturally is a big step toward fluency. That's a good approach. When you're describing your morning routine in English, it's important to use time expressions like usually, always, or sometimes to show how often you do these things. For example, you can say, I always start my day with coffee, or I usually go for a run in the morning. It adds more detail to your routine. Exactly. And you can also describe the order in which you do things. Phrases like first, I, then, I, and after that, I, are great for organizing your thoughts when you're talking about your routine. It makes your speech more structured and easier to understand. Yes. So, for example, you could say, First, I brush my teeth, then I make breakfast, and after that, I get dressed for work. It's clear, concise, and it flows naturally. Let's move on to the middle of the day, which for most people involves work or study. Bilal, how do you usually describe your workday? Well, I like to keep it simple. I usually start by saying what I do for work and then give a brief overview of my tasks. For example, I might say, I work as a teacher, so my day involves preparing lessons, teaching classes, and grading assignments. That's a great approach. You can talk about the main parts of your day and use verbs like prepare, teach, write, manage, and attend to describe your tasks. For example, you could say, I manage a team, attend meetings, and write reports. It's straightforward, but it gives the listener a clear idea of what you do. Exactly. And it's important to remember that not every day is the same, so you can also use phrases like on a typical day, most days, or sometimes. For example, on a typical day I have two or three meetings in the morning, and then I work on projects in the afternoon. Good point. And if you're a student, you might say something like, I attend classes in the morning, and in the afternoon, I study or work on assignments. These are simple ways to describe your daily routine in a work or study context. Now, let's talk about the evening. After work or school, most people have some free time. Bilal, how do you usually spend your evenings? In the evening, I like to unwind. I usually spend some time reading or catching up on my favorite TV shows. If I have the energy, I'll go for a walk or meet up with friends for dinner. I try to balance relaxing with staying active. That's great! In the evening, I usually cook dinner, and sometimes I try out new recipes. After dinner, I like to relax by watching a movie or doing some light reading. I also enjoy going to the gym a few times a week in the evening, it helps me stay fit and clear my mind. When you're talking about your evening routine, you can use verbs like unwind, relax, cook, watch, read, and exercise. For example, I like to relax in the evening by watching TV, or I often cook dinner around 7 p.m. It's all about describing what you do and when. Right. 
and if you have a hobby or something you do regularly in the evening, be sure to mention it. For example, you could say, I usually play the guitar for an hour after dinner, or I go to the gym three times a week. Adding hobbies makes your routine sound more personal and interesting. Finally, let's talk about the end of the day, nighttime routines. Bilal, do you have a specific routine before bed? I do. Before bed, I like to spend some time unwinding. I usually put my phone away an hour before I sleep to avoid distractions. Then, I might read a little or meditate to clear my mind. I try to be in bed by 10.30 p.m. to get a good night's sleep. That sounds relaxing. I also try to avoid screens before bed. I usually spend the last 30 minutes of my day writing in a journal or reading. It helps me wind down and sleep better. I aim to be in bed by 11 p.m. most nights. Having a nighttime routine is important, and when you're talking about it in English, you can use phrases like, I like to, or I try to, to describe your habits. For example, I like to meditate before bed, or I try to avoid using my phone late at night. Yes, and don't forget to mention the time you usually go to bed. For example, I'm usually in bed by 11 p.m., or I try to get at least 8 hours of sleep. It's a simple way to finish off your description of a full day. And that's a wrap. We've covered how to talk about your daily routine from morning to night. Whether you're describing your morning habits, your work, or study routine, or how you relax in the evening, it's important to use clear, simple language that helps you communicate effectively in English. We hope this episode has given you some useful phrases and vocabulary to talk about your daily routine in English. Remember to practice with friends or even by yourself and try writing down your daily routine as a way to improve your fluency. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more episodes where we'll continue to bring you practical tips to improve your English speaking skills. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment below telling us about your daily routine in English We'd love to hear from you. See you next time. Take care and see you in the next episode. And if you want to challenge yourself, try describing your ideal daily routine. How would your perfect day look from morning to night? It's a fun way to expand your vocabulary and think creatively in English. Great idea, Olivia. You can even share your ideal day with us in the comments below. We'd love to hear how you'd spend a dream day in English.